Okay, so take a 10 MB image, 10 megabytes image, maybe 24 megapixels and upload that to Facebook. Yes, it will take some time. It will take a lot of time actually. But I insist you do that. Once you upload that to Facebook, post it. And from Facebook, click on the image and from the thin tiny options menu bar, right? Download the image from Facebook. What's the size now? So I did some research for you because I knew that you wouldn't try that. Okay, so let's get to it. So I have this image, which is, let's right click and let's go to properties, which is exactly 10.8 MB, okay? And I uploaded this to Facebook. This is straight out of my Nikon, 24.1 megapixels, and just edited it in Photoshop and just uploaded it into uh, Facebook. And then when I uploaded it to Facebook and I then downloaded it back from Facebook, and this is the downloaded image. Now let's look at the downloaded image, right click and let's look at the size. 348kp now that's around 30 times that's around 30 times smaller than the original file so while I was uploading the file I also kept track of time on my phone so when I was uploading I have a decent 5 Mbps uh, internet connection which is kind of stable and it took me two minutes 50 seconds to upload that 10.8 Mbps file. On the other hand, when I just uploaded the file that I had downloaded back from Facebook, it just took me 5 seconds. Now you tell me, what's the point in uploading full resolution high quality images to Facebook when even Facebook is doing massive cuts in image size and quality? What if we ourselves reduce the image size or quality so that we can make our upload speeds much faster that will save us a massive amount of time, trust me. And also of course it will save us a lot of data. Also. Some of you might say, okay, I have an unlimited internet and I don't mind spending 2-3 minutes extra uploading that image file on Facebook. But tell you what, what if you are uploading 20 photos? What if you are uploading 100 photos, right? Then, are you willing to sacrifice those extra hours? Also, some of you might say that editing and reducing the file size of each and every photo might take you a lot of time. Why not let Facebook do that? But tell you what. Today, I'm telling you that we can do that much, much faster than Facebook. Hey there, this is Unmesh and today we are going to cut some image fat. Coming up. So before we begin our journey to reduce image file size, let me specify that this is not just for Facebook. This can be applied to any website, any social media, okay, wherever you upload your images. Now, before we reduce the image size again, let's look at how Facebook does that. Let's look at the details how Facebook reduces image file size. So this is the image that I had downloaded from Facebook. Let's right click this and go to properties. And this is the original image file. Let's right click this and go to properties. Let's compare both the properties. So this is the Facebook one and this is the original. As you can see the size uh, is 10.8 MB here. It's 348 KB, right? So this is already seen. Let's go to details tab. Now this is what is important. Look at the dimensions of the original image. 6000 into 4000 pixels. It is, now this one is 2048 into 1365 pixels so it has reduced it by one third almost one third right look at the horizontal resolution 240 dpi this reduces to 96 dpi bit depth is constant also it's srgb and this one is also srgb though it's not showing but it's also srgb so srgb is universally accepted color profile now camera details and everything is gone in this one not showing okay so we have to reduce the image size for Facebook to from 6000 to 2048 so I'm saying that Facebook keeps the image size uh, as 2048 but let me tell you what Facebook changes this every time it updates it so this might not be constant for every time that's why I'm teaching you this so that in future if Facebook makes it website more complex or Facebook changes its settings or Facebook updates its interface. You can always download an image or you can always upload an image, download it, look at the size, what Facebook or Twitter or any other social media is using. That's the best way to find the size that a social media or any other website is using. Now, let's open Photoshop 
and I had already imported that image. So let's re-import that image again. Where did I keep it? Okay, this folder. Let's import this image right into Facebook. Once it's imported, it's taking time, yes. Go to image and then image size. So it's 6,000. We have to reduce it to 2048. 2048. Oh, what am I doing? 2048. Okay, done. Now you need to make sure that when you're whenever you're reducing the image size, you have to select this by cubic sharper because when you reduce the image size, it loses some sharpness. So Facebook has to Photoshop. Sorry, Facebook. Photoshop has to artificially add some sharpness to the image. So make sure you select by cubic sharper. It's shown in the brackets that it's for reduction. So that's the clue there. And no matter what the resolution is, because you have Define the pixels not the inches so resolution doesn't matter if it's 300 if it's 1000 if it's even one It doesn't matter because you have defined the pixels had you defined the inches or something you would have to define the resolution Okay, so let's click. Okay, and The image size will automatically be reduced. Let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, and then let's go to file save as Save it save it as JPEG. Okay, in the same folder, I'm saving it in the same folder. Let's name it Beach Boy Compressed. Let's save it. And now, this is important. The more the quality, the higher the file size. So you need to make sure that you reduce the quality to somewhat low, to maybe three, and click OK. And now let's look at the size of the image. This is Beach Boy Compressed. Go to Properties. 316 KB even lesser and let's see the quality of this image okay this is this quality quality is fairly good let's compare it with Facebook's quality so this is Facebook's okay so it's the same quality but it's much more reduced file size also to reduce file size there's one more tip you need to make sure that you when you go to images when you go to mode make sure that 8 bits is selected okay if it's 16 bits if it's uh, 16 bits selected by default you need to change that to 8 bits because 16 bit is double the size of 8 bits and every website or anything in, or, or in the world wide web almost anything and everything supports 8 bit okay 16 bit is not supported even if it is supported some websites convert that to 8 bits so it doesn't matter you should always change that to 8 bits for web now this process is absolutely fine if you're working with one image, but what if you're working with more than one image? What if you're working with 500 or 1000 images? What would you, my friend, do then? There's a solution. There are a lot of free softwares available on the internet that you can download that batch processes your image, that decreases the image size of all your images all at once. The one that I would personally prefer is Cesium. That's the one that I'm currently using. It's a beautiful software, the link to which I'll give it up in the description below so that you can download it and use it for free. It's completely free, no hidden charges or anything. It's freeware. So let's open Cesium, let's double click that. And I have a folder called product. This is a lot of product photography right there. So if I, if I right click it and look at the properties, all the images collectively is 37.3 MB, okay? So to batch process your image, first of all, you have to make a folder and put all your images that you want to decrease the size of, and then drag the folder straight into Cesium. Once you do that, okay? Once you do that, all you have to do Decrease the quality a bit, maybe 50 ish, 40, uh, 40 is a nice place to be. 40. Click same for all, make sure that it's checked. Format JPG, set quality. Okay, quality is set to 40%. Then click resize. Then make sure percentage is selected, right? We need to decrease the image size or image size by percentages, not by pixels. If we in decrease by pixels, the aspect ra ratio goes haywire. So make sure that is percentage. Make sure this is checked. Keep aspect ratio and change it to around 40-ish, right? And click same for all and click apply. This is applied. Then select the output folder. If you want a little more quality, you can go to 50 and apply it. And, and select the output folder. 
so let's select the output folder let's save it on desktop let's make a new folder create new folder and let's name it product compressed and let's save everything in this folder select folder and click compress now it's compressing now see as you can see it's decreasing the image size by 97 98 97 98 percentages so okay let's look at let's compare the size of product and product compress okay uh, let's bring that uh, folder here so the product is as you saw 37.3 MB product compressed just 1.17 MB now that's a lot of reduction let's look at the images let's look at the image quality perfect for Facebook perfect for Facebook so that was a little tip there hope that was helpful now you can streamline your workflow and you're ready to rock the social media so hey there this is Inmesh signing off and if this video really helped you do consider to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video till then happy photoshopping and stay tuned